Welcome to the Bambanani series. Every child has a right to quality education and teaching inclusively can contribute to achieving that goal. This series of videos illustrates how teachers are teaching inclusively in South African classrooms. The videos focus on teaching numeracy and literacy in the foundation and intermediate phases. To support participation and learning by all learners, the teachers in the clips differentiate their teaching methodologies, content and assessment strategies, and classroom environment. Let's join hands to teach every child. Today I taught a literacy lesson on natural disasters and I was really fortunate that my learners had gone to library beforehand so they were in the literacy frame of mind before I started my lesson. A terrible earthquake had just killed thousands of people in that city. Rescuers were working non-stop to save as many lives as they could. After my learners came back from the library, I started my literacy lesson with a shared reading activity. We read a big book on natural disasters and it was really beneficial to them because the learners that are weaker in reading, they were able to follow along with the stronger learners. Miss Southie planned a wonderful lesson all about natural disasters. She planned to teach this lesson over the duration of a few days and the lesson that we saw today was the first in the series. Earthquakes! Earthquakes are caused by the movement of the Earth's plates. There are 20 which lie under the surface of the Earth. Four out of five earthquakes take place in the Pacific Rim. She started off by doing a shared reading exercise and this is wonderful as it supports weaker learners to read at the same pace as everyone in the classroom. I then separated my learners into differentiated ability groups uh, where they were given different texts to read. I chose five different texts for the week uh, so that we can rotate throughout the week and each group will get a chance to do the reading. Okay, so I'm going to give you a text to read today. All right, and we, this is our first day. So for the rest of the week, we will swap reading groups, okay? The reading group that today is reading a riddle, tomorrow might, be, uh, might end up reading a diary entry, okay? You are going to read it as a group. The group that is doing riddles, you are going to read the first one together and then discuss what you think the answer is, okay? And there are five riddles here. The group, uh, so you guys can hand those ones out, okay? Learners were grouped in mixed ability groupings and they were each given a different type of literature to read within the group learning sessions. So this meant that um, each learner would have access to a different kind of literature throughout the, the few days of this lesson and it just meant that learners were exposed to different types of literature throughout the week of this natural disasters topic. This really supports their understanding of the topic and also gives them access to different kinds of literature throughout the week. The five different texts that I selected were a diary entry, riddles, a list of riddles, a newspaper article, a song and a poem. And I thought it would be beneficial to them in terms of literacy because of the different types of texts that they were able to prepare a song or instead of just reading it or practice the poem, learn it off by heart instead of just reading it and maybe um, the riddles that they can actually sit and work them out as a group. This group you will be doing a song about volcanoes, okay? You can discuss anything that you're not sure about, okay? And if you want to read it first and then maybe decide how you're going to sing it, you can do that as well. In the foundation phase, we like to integrate lessons, uh, different subjects especially. So for example, today I taught a literacy lesson, however, I use the theme that we're using currently in life skills. So integrating the subject that they are learning as well as practicing literacy skills. Okay guys, remember when we read poems, we have to pause at the end of each line so that we can hear the rhyming words. All right, let's read. Earthquake, earthquake, it came today. Oh, please won't you go away. 
Miss Southey used a wonderful cross-curricular approach to this lesson where she really worked on the concepts and the vocabulary needed for natural disasters. So this really supports learners in learning for the other subjects. It's great that we have a librarian in our school that supports the learners and especially with their reading she knows so much about, uh, about it and sometimes the teachers can't always help with certain learners so it's, it's beneficial to have. We also saw that the learners were able to attend a library lesson right before their lesson on natural disasters. This is wonderful as it gives the learners extended opportunities to learn about the same topic. The reading in the groups was self-directed, but I did walk around to make sure that the learners were doing what they were supposed to be doing and to offer extra support. As always, Myth Southie circulated throughout the class during the group learning session and she made sure that if any learner needed more individual support, she was there to give it to them. Working in a smaller group also means that learners are able to interact with each other and ask questions of each other and, and support each other if necessary. I am very lucky to have extra resources in my class uh, so when the learners are done they are able to go and check the reading corner out and maybe see if there's something else that they can challenge themselves with and develop their reading further. Look Ms. Adi, if I listen to the encyclopedia book. Well done, that's cool. We must remember that it's there. Can anyone else find? Have you got one here, Penny? Look. Let's look for another one. This lesson was obviously very inspiring to the learners because we saw that one group, after they had finished their group work activities, had gone into the reading corner and found an encyclopedia and were looking up more about natural disasters. And that is exactly what we want to see. These learners had the opportunity to then extend their learning.